Hi, so this is a continuation of uh, Emily is Away. And um, yeah, I ran into some problems uploading my first video because of the music videos that <clears throat> the, the friends were sending me, uh, my friends. Um, I wasn't actually sure if they were real songs or not because um, you know, I figured it was a game and they might have used like non-copyrighted music, but apparently they are real songs by real bands. Um, so I'm actually in the process of getting that fixed so I can upload it. So when you watch the first part, it's going to be a little bit awkward, I guess. The song or that section with the song should be muted. But Anyway, so let's continue. It says AIM is officially dead. He finally joined Face Nook and just in time for senior year. Time to see what the heck is all about. Okay, yeah, I was still talking to a bunch of people. Okay. Do you catch a lot of concerts? Uh not a lot, but some. That's it. That's real. Um, yeah, I do. Obviously. This is um, not where I left off, but I guess we'll do this again. Oh yeah, that's right, I think. Um... still the same so we don't have any classes together Last time I said we could just ditch together, we'll never see each other, can't cheat on tests together, uh, I think last time oh, well, we'll never see each other now.
Lol, thanks. I'm looking at some that are far away. I'm so down to get away from this town. Hmm. Well, screw this place. What are you thinking for your major? Some kind of art? So undecided. It's not even funny. Seriously, oh, how about you? Where do you want to go for school? I don't care really. Anywhere that takes me. <laughs> that was true. Um, don't worry, you have time to decide. Yeah, I'll figure it out. I mean, I did. I eventually majored in English, and it was a bad idea. The Great Recession hit around the time that I graduated, and yeah, not a lot of jobs for English majors, so... <laughs> Yeah. Why are you always right? Uh, um, uh, I really am. Oh shit, I lost track of time, I gotta go. Time flies when I'm having fun. Doesn't seem that way to me. Yo, my mom just left. Angry smiley face? What does that mean? I have to finish getting ready for the barbecue tonight. Oh, right, haha, I never invited you. What a jerk. Uh. I've been waiting forever. It means it's time to set up for the party. It's gonna be dope, and you're pretty okay. You should come. A lot of people. So if this were real life, I would choose the party with less people because I don't like crowded parties. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but not too many. It's a proper house party. Booze is en route as we speak. I didn't drink in high school. Come on. I was a good kid. <laughs> um, don't die. It's, so it's a chill end of summer party thing. I would love if you showed up. Uh, I'm not sure what question to ask first. When does it start again? I don't know. I'll invite you to the event page, but I gotta go. Deuces. People said that? Deuces. Peace. I'm gonna just say bye. The Facebook event has all that info. I'm sorry, I gotta run. Laters. Uh... No worries. I'm just choosing the responses that I would actually probably really say in real life. Or closest to- oh gosh, now I have to choose between? Let's die, and in the morning I'm making waffles. Evelyn. Okay, so Evelyn's the art school girl. But right now I feel like I kind of like Emily a little bit more. 8 p.m. till late. My backyard. Let's enjoy summer while we still can. Come over for a genuine barbecue. We got hot dogs, a bonfire, and s'mores. See you there. Can I just put maybe for both of them? Uh... 
<laughs> Matt just wrote that he's going to both. Like, he's going to both of them. Can't we just go to both? Beer pong, dancing, and good music. Oh, this is hard. But I kind of prefer Emily's music, honestly. So I'm going to say attending for Emily. And maybe for Evelyn. Thanks for thinking of me. I'll try to stop that. So you said maybe to Evelyn and yes to Emily. Sounds like we're going to M's barbecue. Yeah, I guess that's my pick. I really hate having to choose between parties. Always go to a bonfire. S'mores, dude. Get ya. Brad Moritz. Uh, I'm totally about the s'mores. There's gonna be s'mores on right there. I know what I'm about, son. I never say that. Whatever. Uh, what the fuck? Brad's going to Emily's. Do I know them? The thumb pronoun is so weird. You must. He's got like a huge crush on Emily. I just hope he doesn't ruin the vibe. Is she into him too? I don't think so. The kid is annoying. Why even invite him? I don't know. It'll probably be fine. See you in a bit. Peace. Mm. Bye. Okay, so what's going on now? Log out and end this chapter. Oh, I can do that. Just a little insight will make this right. It's too late to fight. It ends tonight. It ends tonight. Psst. Halloween party at my place. And don't forget your costume. Wait, so... Wait, I wasn't looking at the time. Did we go back in time or did we 
Did we go further back in time or did we? Well, no, we couldn't have because Emily is saying tomorrow is the day. Prepare to get your ass kicked in Mario Kart. Post back. Um, you're the one stalling. Well, I'm gonna say no, Emily. You best prepare your ass because it is the one that will be kicked. I was really good at Mario Kart. Was. I don't know if I still am. It's been a long time since I played. Hey, Wayne. Oh, hi there, Matt. Oh, I remember how we used to spell hi that way. What up? Nothing much here. Was hanging with Kelly, but she left. Um, ew, I don't want to talk about sex between teenagers. Ugh. Um, how is she? What'd you get up to? How is she? Cool, how is she? Oh, she's good. She got a new camera for her birthday. We walked around and she took so many pictures, lol. Um... <laughs> I'm gonna do no offense, but she needs a better model. Well, oh, I know. I think she's stressed about her pro portfolio and photo school. Uh, school for photography? Is it a school for, like, just for photography? Yeah, in Boston, but she doesn't think she'll get it. She'll get in for sure. But she's a good photographer. Whatever happens, she's still talented. That's what I keep saying, but then she's just like, yeah, you don't know anything about photography. Uh don't need to know. Yeah, you don't really need to know anything to appreciate something. I mean, I don't really know anything about art. I only took one class uh, about art in college, and I mean, it was great and all, but you can still appreciate art even if you haven't taken any art classes, um, or art history classes, I guess. Um, Lol, lol, what if her shit is actually garbage and we're just like, no, this is great. Huh, some uncultured youths. Oh, yo, I almost forgot. I found the best picture of you on Kelly's phone. Uh, this, why do I feel like this can only be bad? <laughs> Well, it's from Emily's party. Let me post it. <sighs> Tagged me in a photo. Okay, I guess I'm the person in blue. And that is Emily. Is she leaning on me? Caught you in the act, Elaine. I totally caught you. In the act. The act of what? Don't play dumb. I saw you laying the charm on Emily. I guess I'm a lesbian in this game? I don't know. <laughs> I plead the fifth? Uh... I can see what you want to. Can see what you want to. I plead the. I plead the fifth. I plead the fifth. I don't even know what that means, actually. 
I'm obviously not a lawyer or politician. Well, whatever you are doing, it worked. Look who Emily is leaning on. Um, I'm going to do the teenager typical response and be like, oh, shut your face, Matt. I'm just saying, there's definitely something there. And now you're having a game night together. Mm, creeping hard, huh? Yo, I got it. I'll be your wingman. Wing woman? Wingman? Uh, no, he's a man. So yeah, he would be my wingman. At my Halloween party. Uh, no thanks. Emma's like such a great catch. Um, lol, shut up, dude. This is so strange. I guess I should have chosen a guy name so that I would be playing as a guy. And why can't they make it like possible for me to be flirting with a guy instead of a girl? Well, anyway, I'm not going to get into it. Um, so I'm just going to continue the game the way it is. Plus, she's super fucking hot. I hate it when guys talk about like, Oh, she's so hot. She's uh, like, who cares? It's not really about whether somebody's hot or not. It's like their personality and whether you like get along with them. Um, whatever you say, yeah, sure, whatever you say. Especially when you're, I guess, when you're teenagers, like looks really mattered a lot back then. Um, yeah. Uh, lol, I'm just saying, oh, speaking of her, she's online, I'll let you focus. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. <sighs> Lane! Henry! How are you? You saved me from that. <laughs> Thankful you just saved me from that, lol. How are you? Well, now I'm laughing about your pain. Hey, you, you, you replied to my wall post challenge? Uh... It's so important. You accepted. Oh, it's on. And wow, prepare my ass? What a smooth comeback. Um, why thank you. I too thought it was smooth. <laughs> ha ha. So you'll come over tomorrow night? Um, sounds like a plan. Can you... Hey, Matt posted a picture of us. Um, I'm gonna say... Yeah, he said he just found it on Kelly's phone. Haha, uh -huh, hey, it's from my party. That was such a fun night. So many s'mores. Seems too many s'mores if we're being honest. Watching the fireworks and stargazing with you was nice. Yeah, I really was. I actually did that in high school with my friends, but it wasn't like a romantic thing or anything. Yo, I know you like new punk shit. 
I just updated my playlist if you want to listen. I'm not clicking on that because I don't want to have to deal with just the whole copyright thing when I try to upload the video. Wow, you always find the best shit. Keep the good music coming. Sure, it's good. Okay. Wait, I just read Matt's caption. What does he mean they caught you? Who knows with him? Who knows? Oh, wait, I get it. I kind of noticed that you're up to something too. You did? I didn't do anything. I was just eating s'mores. Yeah, you are running interference between me and Brad like a pro. Thank you for doing that. That's what friends are for. Well, I really didn't want him to come. Should have kept, kicked him out. Did he crash it? Uh, well, I think we should ask if he just crashed it. Wait, did he like crash your party? No, he was invited. I felt bad. I think I'm a people pleaser, like to a fault. Haha. <laughs> Yeah, me too. I relate to Emily. Um, hmm. I feel that way sometimes too. How do you deal with that impulse? Uh, I don't deal with it. All that well either. We are the same. You're saying me. Plus, I'm pretty sure he likes me, which just makes me feel even worse. Um. Uh, don't owe him anything. Even if he does, you don't owe him anything. Oh, I remember when we were kids, or when I was younger, everyone spelled things all weird. But now we just spell things like correctly or normally. I think that's all part of growing up. I just realize it starts to look dumb when you start typing things all weird and writing things without punctuation. Um, okay. No, I know that, and I don't feel like I do. Like, all the kid does is agree with me about everything. Is that even a personality? Hey, isn't that kind of like us, because we're all people pleasers? We just agree with everybody about everything? Uh, no, definitely not. Must work for somebody. That shit is the worst. I'm gonna say a personality. No, definitely not. I wish he would just take a hint. May need a stronger hint. Um, I would say tell him how you feel. You know, it's really hard when you're kids to be like upfront about these things, but it's better, it's always better to be just upfront. Just tell people how you feel directly. Yeah, that sounds like confrontation though. Sorry, I didn't mean to get 
into all this. Don't be sorry, Emily. Thanks for being there for me, Elaine. I'm glad you and Matt came to the party. Uh, I'm glad too. Emily Singer gave Kelly Struman a gift. At Facebook told me to give you a gift for your birthday. Hope you like I hope you like virtual cake. Oh hey, I almost forgot to ask you. Uh, uh, you wanted to ask me what? Have you heard the new Dead Mouse album yet? Random album title? You know I did. I added them to my electronic playlist. Let's sync it up and listen to it together. Haha, <laughs> okay, Emily. Okay, I'm not gonna watch that. <laughs> so what do you think? Honestly, how do you always have the best music? Mm, I see justice. Remixes, hell yes. So I actually know these artists. So, I guess, yeah. Mm. Oh hey, have you picked out your costume for Matt's party yet? Uh, I'm gonna go with not gonna wear one because I'm a party pooper like that. Nah, I don't think I'm gonna wear one. I remember back in the days when all the girls would wear like really slutty cost co Halloween costume costumes for costume parties. Oh, I shouldn't say slutty, actually. I mean, like, really sexy. But, um, I was never really into that. I never got into that. Um, what? No, you gotta wear one. Picking one is hard. Whoops, did I put three or two? Why did you have and have it? Oh, wouldn't say that. Kind of hear me out. I picked out mine this week. Did you see? Uh, I guess she's talking about this photo right here. Uh, Tinkerbell, right? There's a Tinkerbell one, right? Yeah, I even got a magic wand. Haha. <laughs> But I wanted to ask you if you would dress up with me. What goes with your costume? Haha, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, something else from Peter Pan, I guess? <laughs> I'll also be Tinkerbell. I got it, I'll also be Tinkerbell. <laughs> I don't think she'll like that. Ah yes, we'll be Tinkerbell twin twins. I'm so excited for Matt's party now. Uh, I'm excited too. Oh man, so I'm doing one of those note survey things. On this memory, it's making me relive. It's so fucking embarrassing. Nobody knows how to spell in this game. Okay. Um, sure, it's not that bad. I don't know, 
Elaine, you might think less of think of me less if I told you. Promise I won't. No karma and I promise I won't. So it's asking about like formative memories, haha. I don't know why, but this one memory from middle school stuck out to me for some reason. It was like I was having baby's first existential crisis or something, haha. <laughs> You can't stop time. That's pretty true. Well, no matter what, you can't stop the flow of time. No, exactly like that. It just unironically. <laughs> and oh god, are the details of that night like peak teenage angst? This is so weird. I mean, aren't they still teenagers? Hmm. Oh my god, tell me. It was like past midnight and I snuck out onto my roof with my iPod. I was listening to music and just looking at the sky, haha. <laughs> That's pretty cute. I have some heavy angst right there. I go up on my roof too. How do you even get onto your roof? That's really cool. I mean, I guess I would have done it if I knew how to do it, but um, I don't like any of these answers. Uh, I'm going to go with number two. You weren't lying. That's some heavy angst right there. Thank you, puberty. The worst part is now anytime I hear a certain song, I get so emotional. Don't leave me hanging. It was a uh, nickelback. <laughs> oh, you poor child. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's not ideal. <laughs> Crying to some day isn't exactly the appropriate reason, the appropriate response. Um, I'm gonna say, just gotta own it. I mean, it's okay if you like Nickelback. Some people just like Nickelback. Haha, oh, well, thanks for talking with me, Lane, and getting deep about random shit, haha. -ha. My pleasure. I hope I helped. I just hope I was able to help. You know, you're a good person. Person. I don't care what everyone else- What does everyone else say? <sighs> um... I'm gonna say, well, screw everyone. The adult me would say, well, screw everyone else. I, I mean, the younger me would probably say, what is everyone saying about me? Because I cared. But now I just don't care. Um, oh my god, you should so do the survey too. Um, sounds like work that I don't want to do. <laughs> I, I never liked those surveys. I think the first one was okay, and then there were more and more and more, and then I was just like, okay, enough. <laughs> it says at the bottom, if I tag you and you don't do it, you'll get seven years of bad luck. I'm not superstitious. I got so many of those chain emails back in the days that would say, if you don't send this to 10 people, you're going to get bad luck. And I never, I never believed it. Well, maybe that's why I'm where I am today. Something to think about. Maybe those chain emails were true after all. 
Well, okay. Well, bring on the questions. Hell yeah. Well, while you do that, I'm going to go make some tea. Hey, I want tea. If only there was an easy way to make tea at home. Hmm. Be right back. Um. I'll be here. Bye, Emily. Hey, no buys. Never buys. I have a pet peeve with those. Actually, I used to do. I I used to have a pet peeve with buys as well. Because I have um, separation anxiety. Plus, I'm kind of hoping you stick around for a while. Okay. Well, I guess I have to do this note now. Uh, let's start easy. What do people call you? Emily, I'm sure. Um, your nail's currently painted. She paints her nails. Do you know someone who's always on their phone? Matt, what can you hear right now? Dead Mouse's new album, I'm far too excited. The last person who wrote on your wall, what's their name rhyme with? Uh, oh no, uh, Elephant Venom. Is that true? So are they so are they friends with each other again? Because I think earlier they, uh, Matt said they weren't talking to each other, but they're writing on each other's walls. So are you and that person friends, acquaintances, something else? Well, we used to be best friends, but we're not anymore. I guess I'd like to be friends at least, but it's really complicated. I guess. What's the last thing you put in your mouth? A latte from Starbucks. What's best? Having good friends, a best friend, or a girlfriend slash boyfriend? I guess I'd say a few close friends. Best friends and partners come and go, but good friends are forever. Hmm. That's kind of true, maybe. But I do have some people that I consider my best friends my best friend that has has been around well i have maybe two best friends that have been around for for a really long time like since high school like we've known each other since high school the person you last messaged first two letters of their name their first name e and l oh that would be me are you and this person alike? Yeah, I guess so. They're pretty okay. I mean, not at first, obviously, but once you get to know them. Well, that's kind of true about me. I think most people think I'm a certain way, and then once they get to know me, I'm actually, they, they're usually really surprised that I'm very different. Um, do you ever say the word fuck? Actually, I actually didn't start until like last year. Um, most important childhood memory, stargazing, stargazing with my iPod and listening to eyes open on repeat. Do you have a crush on anyone mentioned in this note? Dig note, you're going to get me in trouble here. Okay. Copy note. Lane. Uh, yeah, of course they are. Do you know anyone who's always on their phone? Cough, Emily. <laughs> uh, Matt for real. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Matt.
What can you hear right now? A techno playlist. YouTube playlist. Thanks, Emily. Last person who wrote on your wall, and what's their name wrong with? Who was the last person who wrote on my wall? Oh, that would be, um, Mm. Devil? Um, skeleton hair. <laughs> uh, skeleton hair. Not that they're a skeleton, or maybe they are. Are you and that person friends, acquaintances, something else? We're friends. What's the last thing you put in your mouth? Yo mama. Um Starbucks two. What's best? Having good friends, a best friend, or a girlfriend boyfriend? What about a combination? They don't have one where it's like I don't think it's really the best having a single best friend because sometimes people change. Um, just from my own personal experience, sometimes, and it's not like over a year or two years, but I'm, I'm talking about like five or more years, people can really change a lot. And even though they can remain your best friend, it's sometimes hard to relate to them at a certain point. So I think it's actually good to constantly make new friends and good friends, having good friends around you at different po points in your life. Having a few good friends is probably most important for me. The person you lost message, first two letters of their name, I guess that would be E and M. I wonder who that could be. Are you and this person alike? I guess we kind of are. Do you ever say the word fuck? In real life, I mean, there was a period of time, I think in my early 20s, when I did cuss a lot. And I kind of got sick of it because it was like kind of a phase and then I was like why am I just cussing all the time I don't want to because it becomes a habit once you start doing it a lot and then you just it becomes a part of your um I want to say like linguistic repertoire and I don't I didn't want that to just become a habit so I stopped cussing but I mean, if we're talking about like high school and for most of my life, I would say for for the most part, I don't really cuss that much. Good heavens. No, I'm a civilized teenager. Most important childhood memory. Let's say maybe one or three. The first day of school is always awful for me. Probably just talking to my friends on Uh, do you have a crush on anyone mentioned in this note? Plead the fifth on the grounds that my answer may incriminate you. Okay, so I'm just gonna um end this episode here, and um we will continue. And Evelyn is talking to me now. Uh, we will continue this in a little bit. Um, I would like to make this a longer episode, but um, I have stuff I need to do in real life. And uh, I guess depending on how much time that real life stuff takes, um, I could be back to record another episode today. So for now, bye. Thank you for watching.